What's going on guys? We're back at it with a Monk build this time and this is one that's very impressive. The Monk wasn't the strongest DPS uh, prior to 2.1. Uh, you know they made some changes, buffed you know a bunch of the old set bonuses that you guys probably remember not being that great and uh, they came out with something. They're, this is great synergy. We'll go over this build real quick. We'll go over the skills then we'll tell you how it all works together. Show you the gear and then get some gameplay going. And uh, we're going to show you guys just exactly how strong this can be. Uh, for your skills, Way of the Hundred Fist with Fist of Fury, Dashing Strike with Radiance, Sweeping Wind with Inner Storm, Breath of Heaven with Infused with Light, Epiphany with Desert Shroud, Mantra of Healing with Time of Need, for your passive, Seize the Initiative, Alacrity, Beacon of Etar, and Harmony. Now the reason all this is going to work is because the Sun Wuko set. The four-piece bonus has changed dramatically. Spending 75 spirit causes a decoy to spawn that taunts nearby enemies and then explodes for 3,500% weapon damage as holy. That is a huge, huge number. Now, if you can spend 75 spirit very, very quickly, you're going to get a lot of 3,500 damage, you know, explosions going on there uh, with that um, with that decoy. Now, the way this is going to work. You're building up a ton of spirit, and you're dropping a ton of spirit very, very quickly. Now, Way of the Hundred Fist with Fist of Fury, this is going to attack very, very quickly. Um, it also allows you to perform a short dash, but this is your main spirit generator. Now, you generate 12 spirit per attack. This attacks very quickly, and you're going to be building up a lot. Now, we're going to go over the rest of the skills, and you're going to see how all this ties together, because you're going to do far more than 12 uh, you know, per attack here. Um, dashing Strike. Uh, quickly dash up to 50 yards. That's just also a good way to get out of danger. Uh, if you've got some uh, ice cubes popping up on you, you need to get out of you know some arcane sentry. You just can't be in there sometimes with melee. It can be a little tough. Or if you're trying to skip through a couple areas. The second part there, you're going to see gain 15% increased attack speed for 4 seconds after using dashing strike. Now you can gain a charge every 8 seconds and can have up to 2 charges stored at one time. Now it's going to come around a little quickly. Um, but you want to stagger this. There's no need to, you know, bam, bam, dashing strike over and over. You know, every four seconds is fine. Every time that comes around on cooldown, you're going to get that increased 15% uh, uh, attack speed there. And it's good to stagger that, keep that going, you know, as needed. Uh, as far as the other skills, this is the one, this is where your spirit's going to disappear. Um, sweeping wind, 75 spirit. Now, coincidentally, uh, 75 spirit it creates the uh, the decoy and lucky for us sweeping win costs 75 spirit now this is a good way to drop your spirit now you're gonna be building up very 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 quickly and this is a good way to do it so uh, as long as your vortex is at three or more stacks you gain eight uh, spirit per second so you're gonna get some stacks there you can read through that uh, as needed so this is gonna be you're gonna mash this a lot you know you're gonna drop it there uh, there's gonna be a lot going on there's the decoy you see him uh, dropping and a um, couple other skills that we're gonna go with here breath of heaven infused with light uh, this heals you now this is great because this is gonna come around very very quickly now 15 seconds you know get some cooldown reduction get the eye of Peshkov helm and this is gonna be around extremely fast you're gonna be able to heal yourself quite a bit you'll see at the bottom of it there gain 14 additional spirit from spirit generating attacks for five seconds after using this so you use this and while you've got way of the hundred fists going uh, you've got an additional 14 onto the 12 there so you're you know generating this every single time you know and that's great you're gonna be building up the spirit so you can drop it right back now this does require a lot of button mashing keeping an eye on stuff and uh, keeping an eye on your spirit and dropping that as quickly as possible. You don't want to be running around with this all the time. Uh, Epiphany with Desert Shroud. Infuse yourself with sand, reducing damage by uh, 50%. So that's a good thing. It's on a you know a fairly long cooldown compared to the other stuff. But if you've got you know some cooldown reduction, this will come around very quickly. Um, and you're going to see you know having Epiphany increasing your spirit regeneration uh, per second by 20 and enabling your melee attacks to instantly dash to your target for 15 seconds. Uh, so this is uh, pretty neat to have around. It's good, especially if you've got Epiphany and Breath of the Heaven going at once, especially when you're fighting elites. It's very good to have uh, working together. You're going to find your spirit generates extremely quickly. Drop your spirit and uh, you know there's a lot going on. Mantra of Healing, Time of Need. You and your allies within 60 yards gain, you know, extra life regeneration. The heal amount is increased, yada, yada. Mantra of Healing also reduces damage taken by 30% when below 50% life. Now, you're going to be in there taking a lot of damage. 
Uh, you're going to be able to attack very quickly, and so your life on hit is going to be very important to be able to stay in there and take damage. Uh, when you do proc this, shroud you and your allies with a my uh, mystical shield that absorbs up to uh, X the 62,000 damage for three seconds. Uh, this is increased by your health globe healing bonus. And this is pretty cool because when you're in there and you're generating a lot of spirit, sometimes it's not enough like to just hit sweeping wind. That's not going to drop it quick enough. Um, one way to do that, Mantra of Healing. Go ahead and hit that. If you're building it up very quickly, Mantra of Healing, proc that. Uh, go ahead and pop that. You're going to get the shield. You're going to be able to drop the spirit. Continue to do damage by spinning the spirit because that's going to spin 50. Uh, then you're going to hit sweeping wind. So there's a lot going on there while you're in there fighting. Um, as far as the passives go, seize the initiative. Dealing damage to enemies above 75% life increases your attack speed by 30% for four seconds. That's incredible. So you hit a new mob. You go in there and you're attacking like a madman. Way of the 100 fists, building up the spirit, dropping the spirit, building up the spirit, building up the spirit. Um, you know, there's just so much going on in there that it's really gonna, you know, come around. And like I said, we're gonna do a little bit of gameplay. We'll show you this in action. So stick around for that. Alacrity increases the attack speed of spirit generators by 15%. Again, way of the hundred fist, very, very fast attack with all that's going on. You know, there's gonna be so much spirit generated from all this. Beacon of Etar, reduce all cooldowns by 20%. Uh, this goes great with Breath of Heaven. And then, uh, like I said, if you have the Eye of Peshkov, it's going to reduce Breath of Heaven uh, up to 50%, depending on the roll that you get. So you can pretty much have this up 100% of the time with that helm. Unfortunately, we don't have it for this video, uh, but you're going to see that there's only going to be like a staggered second to where we don't have this up, and it's still going to be very, uh, you know, impressive as far as the damage output goes. Uh, last up, Harmony, just for the extra resistances. Uh, you can read over that as needed. Um, as far as the gear goes, Sun Wuko set very important. It comes with shoulders, gloves, helm, and amulet. We don't have the amulet, so we're running these three with the Royal Ring of Grandeur. Uh, very important to get that four-piece set bonus. If you have the Eye of Peshkov, run it here, and you must obviously have the Sun Wuko's amulet at the same time to be able to get you know all four of those. That's very important to have that. You can do it without the Eye of Peshkov, um, as we'll show in this video. But the other uh, important piece of gear is the flying dragon this here chance to double your attack speed when attacking now we'll sit here you'll see that we're attacking you can see the speed of the attacks and let's hope this procs in the next few seconds and again it's just going to be random it sometimes it can last for a while sometimes there it goes and you'll see the uh, attack speed is extremely extremely quick our damage got boosted up and then it comes back around and again it's going to be random so this could last, you know, for more than a few seconds. It might not last for more than a few seconds. Um, it could come around. As you can see, it's lasting for us quite a while on this one. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll move on here to the rest of the gear. Uh, if you have a um, Witching Hour, go ahead and run with that. I'm running the Hellcat, uh, the Hellcat Waste Guard. Uh, because we have the extra attack speed, you can certainly run something more defensive there. Um, depth diggers, I stumbled upon these. Um, I actually found out these work pretty good. You're going to be using Way of the Hundred Fist quite a bit. Uh, might as well boost that damage up. Very nice to have there. Uh, Unity, we're running that because we're running solo. Put one on your uh, follower um, and uh, make sure you split the damage there. Since this is a holy build, try and get some holy damage between your bracers, amulet, and any other way you can. Um, if you can if you can afford it. Uh, so the holy skill damage there, very important. Uh, boots. They are nothing special. Hopefully you have something better than me. Uh, we are running Aug Hilds, uh, Bracers, and Chest uh, to be able to get the um, damage reduction from the Elites plus the increased damage uh, against them as well. So uh, kind of you know, a good pro and con thing to have there for defensive purposes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this in action. If you're cutting off here, thanks for watching. Uh, if not, we're going to go ahead and show you this in action so you can see just how effective this can be. Between the cooldowns, between all the gear that's going on, all the skills that are going on, you're going to see a huge, huge amount of uh, spirit build up, and then you're going to see that drop right back down. So we'll show you this in action. All right, so we're going to hop in here and go apparently nowhere because we double click there. We're going to go ahead and hop into the Halls of Agony, level 3. Now again, you're going to you know, mostly try and hop in with Dashing Strike. You're going to use this. It's going to come around every few seconds. This increases your attack speed. You're going to pop Breath of Heaven. Uh, this is where a huge amount of your spirit's going to come from. Epiphany, if you have high cooldown reduction, you can almost keep this going, you know, almost permanently if you want. Not, not And I shouldn't say permanently. You can keep it up quite a bit. Um, about half the time, I should say, of the cooldown. 
Um, and then uh, keep this around. I normally kind of keep this in my back pocket for elites. Uh, we're going to be using Sweeping Wind to drop our spirit. Uh, you're going to see a lot of attacks going on with Way of the Hundred Fist. And uh, you're going to see a lot that's going on. Uh, excuse the clicking. Um, here, we're just going to be mashing a lot of... There you're going to see our spirit generate. I'm going to let this build for a second. And you see how quickly it builds. And then we're going to go ahead and mash our Sweeping Wind to go ahead and drop the spirit. And there it is. Um, Breath of Heaven popped. We're going to drop all of our spirit. Then we're going to build it right back up. And like I said, with good life on hit, uh, this is going to... Here we go. Here are some elites. We can really put this thing in action. So as you can see, our spirit is generating very quickly. We're in there. We are blasting, guys. We're going to dashing strike out of that. And we're going to drop a bunch of spirit as quickly as possible. And that elite is dead. Now, some of you guys out there are going to have better gear than I do. Um, you know, I started playing this. I was a pull monk for the longest time. And I didn't run with uh, DPS monk for a while. So I've been farming this up, trying to get this ready for the video. And as you can see, it's very, very impressive for somebody that hasn't spent a lot of time getting the gear. And we'll go ahead and do another elite pack here. And we've got both uh, our... Um, Epiphany and our Breath of Heaven proc. We're going to get out of that arcane. And this guy going down very, very rapidly. Now, this is crazy. I mean, this build is great. I, I mean, the amount of damage that it does in such short bursts. I mean, if you're, if you've got the right, you know, rotation down. Some of you guys probably been playing this a little bit longer, so your rotation is going to be spot on. Um, as you can see, just getting everything put together, uh, the rotation is nice. If you can get Breath of Heaven, like I said, if you have the Eye of Peshkov, this is going to be pretty much permanently. Um, fire Chains might cause a little bit of damage here. We'll get out of there. Hop back in. Blast these guys. Show them what's going on. And they're dead. That's that's some of the tricks you gotta pull off uh, if you're fighting lightning mobs. Uh, it might be worth skipping in greater rifts. Uh, they do a ton of damage, especially if you're attacking uh, as fast as we are here. Um, kind of important, to, you know, stay alive. Uh, so this is one way to do it. You can use dashing strike. You can get out of areas. You can even skip around a little bit um, if you want. We'll go ahead and hop in here, kill a few more mobs. But I wanted to show you guys, it, you know. I have this set up, you know, we're going to hold down on our uh, left uh, our left mouse button there and then we're just going to work on mashing a uh, sweeping wind and that way it can continue to attack and uh, it'll interrupt it for the sweeping wind. That's why I said sometimes uh, you're building up spirit so quickly uh, that it actually makes it a little bit difficult uh, to get rid of it so you can hit mantra of uh, healing there and it's also good to do that uh, when you're in higher rifts anyways just because you're going to need uh, the extra shield there to help absorb some of that damage. So um, hopefully this has worked out for you guys. It gives you guys something to shoot for if you were a monk before and you held on to some of your old gear. Um, you know, it's all retroactive, so uh, you can get all that going. And hopefully you kept that stored away somewhere. I know a lot of us probably got rid of a lot of gear that we didn't think was any good. And 2.1 made us regret that. So um, hopefully you've got it. If not, it gives you something to shoot for. Um, go out there, farm it up. Kandala hasn't been very kind, um, but we have managed to get where we need to go. So hopefully this works for you guys. Thanks for watching as always. And uh, if you like the build, go ahead and hit that like button below. I would certainly appreciate that as always. If you got any other comments, you know, to leave about the build, any changes that you might make or anything that might be working for you, feel free to leave those below as well. And uh, until uh, next time, guys, happy hunting. And uh, we'll see you next time.